Nikkei 225 no doubt is one of the best performing index. It broke new high in 2024 and it went up by 44% since last year low. And guess what? It made the highest price ever since 30 years ago. The question would be, how would you be trading into Nikkei 225? And what are the strategies you can deploy in Nikkei 225? And this is exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video here. Now, if you would like to get the latest update of Nikkei 225, remember to scan this QR code because I'll be updating instantly in the TG Telegram channel that I have here. This video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. Generally, most trading methods revolve around two types. One would be a counter trend. The other one is a trend following. Trend following is easy. You have like average price. And if price moves to that average price, you follow the trend. If the previous trend is up, then you will be looking to buy. If the previous trend is down, you're looking to sell. Now then what is counter trend? Counter trend means that price has deviated too far away from the average price. And you think that it's either too high or too low. And you want to trade on the opposite direction of the average price. For example, if price has move too high too far away from the average price then you want to sell it down so that you can get to the mean now if you apply these two types of trading strategies to what we are seeing right now in Nikkei 225 then you find that you can trade some short term movement so let me just go through the Nikkei 225 charts this is a day chart of Nikkei 225 so what I've inserted here are the 10 days moving average and then the 20 days moving average that's in black color here as you can see Nikkei 225 broke out of a six months pattern so these was what I mean by a six month pattern here and it made a new high. Now obviously you can find that price had departed away from its mean. If you look at the moving average, it provides you with a 10 day mean price here and a 20 days mean price here. Right, so price is right now far away from the 20 days moving average mean price and that 20 days moving average mean price is about 34,700 and a 10 days mean price is about uh, 35,000 when I switch the chart into a one hour time frame, which is a lower time frame, and when price had departed too far away from the mean, right, there is a tendency for it to drop. So when it's too far away from the mean, and if you say to take a short term selling position, then you are doing a counter trend trade. Now, if price is near to the mean, for example, near to the 10 or the 20 days uh, average price, then you can consider consider a with the trend trade that means a trend following trade to buy in a direction of this upsloping moving average what kind of instruments can you use for this uh, counter trend and as well as trend following then you need to consider potentially some short-term instruments and one of the instruments i would want to introduce here will be the use of warrants Head to warrants.com.sg under the warrants to choose warrant selector. So this is the place that you can use the underlying to find the relevant warrants. Here, once you click on the K225 underlying, there would be a call warrant and a put warrants. Now for use of call warrants, this means that as investors, if you think that the underlying is likely going to move up, then you would want to buy a call warrants. For investors who think that in the future the prices of Nikkei 225 is likely going to come down then the investors can buy into put warrants once i click into call warrants there are all together four warrants here i myself prefer the one with a fire logo because this means that it is a warrants that's trading on the tighter spreads as well as having a higher liquidity and sensitivity Click on the put warrants, there are a total of one put warrants here. Now let's go back into the Nikkei 225 chart. Overall, in a one hour chart of Nikkei 225, you can see that the trend is still up, but price so far had departed from the mean price. So this is the 10 days and this is the 20 days moving average. At this high point here, investors can consider a put because you think that price has departed too far away from the average price and you think that it's likely going to fall back to the average price. You want to put in a short term sell position and so you will be buying a put warrant at the top here if price drops to the mean price here investors can consider a call because then you'll be buying in line with the moving average which is in line with the trend 
What I've put here is a possible support level for Nikkei 225 and that's around 35,350. It's between the two moving average but it's near to a horizontal support level. In this case here, I come up with three possible support levels. One would be 35,900. So that's the first level. Second level would be 35,350 and the third level would be 34,700. So these are possible support zones for investors to consider a call warrant in line with the upward moving trend. If you look at any stock price movement or if you look at Nikkei 225, even for a very strong up moves, there will always be periods of correction. So it's good to get ready any short term instruments to tap into a short term correction. So I've introduced how to use warrants, both the call and the put warrants, and it would be good if you can head over warrants.com.sg to explore more about warrants. Now with this, I come to the end of my video. If you have any other instruments or any stocks that you would want me to cover, please remember to leave a comment and I see you in my next video.